Hello and welcome back to the channel and Deus Ex Human Revelations. So we're back in Detroit. Everything's quiet here, Mr. Jensen. And Mr. Hey, Mr. Seraph is here. Matter, huh? I made the round. Mr. Mr. Jensen, sure is good to see you. Mr. Seraph is here. There we go. So we've got to go to our house because there's a big riot happening at the moment. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently, that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. You seen the news? Vikas is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not. Except for the Typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts. What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... <laughs> the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us. So we can all become like you. Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is, but Taggart will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. All right, we got another Praxit kit. Any goodies been stashed behind our TV? Nope. Okay, let's go. Reestablishing security. Oh. oh. See you soon, Mr. Jensen. What was that? That was weird. Jensen! That little blackmail stunt you pulled cost me my job! Asshole! Stay where you are! Thousands of angry riders. 
Voters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial no. satellite footage uncovered by Pikes. Detroit, no. Toronto, Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro all, right. all report violent clashes taking place outside the doors of such well-known biotechnology. So we want to try to clear up our inventory, sell some stuff, uh, head to a limb clinic to see if we can get a couple of extra Praxit kits. Oh. Woo! Welcome to Move. the Detroit Automated. And he'll give me a nice excuse to mess you up. The city's in flames, they don't whack it. You throw that firebomb, you little shit! It wasn't me, man! You stay right there until the wagon gets here. Hmm. Ah. Okay, let's see what we want to use. Packing analysis? see-through walls that might be the next one we get okay there's PD I guess we'll go through here and the limb clinic must be on the other side can't really remember exactly where Sorry, it is but we've diverted all the trams there are no more coming to this station but how am I supposed to get home they tripped me from behind and stripped me of my purse were there any witnesses yeah but they refused to stick around to wait for you guys Trying to control. Oh, at least he's still here. What's your pleasure, friend? Stun gun, don't need that. Don't need that. We'll keep the heavy. Don't need that. Sure to tell all. Shock 
shotgun. Heavy rifle. Oh, How may I be? Wasted all that money for no reason. Be sure to tell all you. What's your plan? Be sure to tell all your friends. Should have looked into that a bit more, right? Eh? Jensen, Sarif had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Taggart will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court. In case you want to get chatty with him too. Okay, now that we've got hacking pretty good. Look at that. Access grid. What's up here? Why would there be a way to get up here if there's nothing actually up here? Hmm, okay. So hopefully we can buy two um, kits. That would be good. Dr. Chetri, Lim believes in free access Don't to augmentations for everyone, everywhere. But we still ask you to wait your turn. Ahem. Always a pleasure. But we can now unlock the ability to see through walls. Doesn't use much energy either, so that's really good. I would have been able to buy that up at Praxic Kit if I didn't muck around. But I could use some more pistol ammo, so I know that there's a guy up here. That will give me a discount as well. Oh. Welcome. I'm What'd you have in mind? There's a gentle how huh? girl. Must not be this one. We'll go and do the side mission. You okay, sweetheart? <sighs> I'm a little shaken up, but I'm just glad we got off the streets. I almost shit myself in that group of cops.
Ah, oh, here he is. This is what I got. I'm a friend of... Really? Rate of fire? Okay, that... Surely this has to be getting really good now. Damage output. Upgrades. Silencer. Come on, can I just... Quantum tangling. Armor piercing. here come out now put that away unless you're gonna finish me off Jensen oh Christ Brent Radford? In the flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a, a trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No. No time. The, they could be back. Any minute. Find the kit quickly. If you want answers. I'll be back. Trauma kit somewhere. Where, where, where? Where would you treat? Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Saraf got spooked that that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Seraph. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me? Professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people, trying to dig up your... dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Saraf had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't, you don't know. Your parents, your, your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all... I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. Fuck. You robot. This this is all your fault. Give me give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Fuck. You. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Hey, I'm feeling a little more talkative. Already. Robot.
Radford, there's a storage unit. You mentioned someone named Mc... Uh, your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Do robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul. When they built you. <laughs> Tell me. What was it like... When you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain. And the morphine is just... Find her. Before they do. You... You owe her that much. Why did Sarah... You wouldn't... Believe me, even if I told you. <laughs> Hell, even I don't. I still don't believe it. You believe in ghosts, Jensen? Seraph was spooked by ghosts. Close enough. Illuminati. <laughs> Conspiracies, theories... It's all bullshit. But you stink of it, Jensen. Enough to have your boss, one of the most powerful men in the world, look away. <clears throat> You're a ghost. A fucking tragedy. Everything you touch, everything that touches you, dies. Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them, David or Daniel, something like that, British accent. He was in charge. Talked about a Mr. Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry. Four of them. Not counting the one they left behind. Well armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know... What a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair. Shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen. I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should, should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm going to get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Hmm. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't. You can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an, an imitation. It ain't right. It ain't natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind on the chopping block. You should know this by now. Suicide isn't- Neither is suicide. Don't you fucking judge me, robot. You don't know what I've been through. Come on. This should be easy for you. I know Sarif didn't put blades in those in those arms just so you could trim the hedges. I'm sorry, Radford. I won't do it. What is this? Some Azimar first law bullshit? What'd they do, robot? Program mercy out of you? Or you just... Too much of a chicken shit to get your hands dirty. Here we go. Okay, so we gotta go to the storage unit. Oh. Right 
that was there. Oh, this place. So we did know that was there. Pritchard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He didn't make it. There was nothing I could do. Right. I'll call it in. You have a new lead, at least? Yeah. I'm on my way there now. I'll contact you when I have more. Of course he is. I know Mr. Dutton. Mr. Gray is landing tonight. We're working on it, yeah. What happened? This is the spot. do it like that okay I didn't actually know that you could capture them like that but that's cool let's do this in case we have some codes What'll it be? Always a Head back to Rafa.
Did I leave my door open? Wait, you're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Rolling Mills. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I... I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through. But Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then. When we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff. But Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs, and you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensens to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them Rolling Mills people gonna get here with my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Thank you for your... Oh, before I forget, if you see... I'll... Thank you, dear. All right. Oh, hello, dear. Is it Pritchard, I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters, Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's... family. But she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, well we're going to end this episode here. So if you liked it, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.